Hello and welcome to Los Angeles International Airport. Today we are doing a flight from here in Southern California up to Montana, uh, Bozeman to be precise. And uh, this is a Snowboarders Express. Uh, we are well into the 23-24 ski season here in North America. Um, but California has unfortunately not had that much snow compared to uh, last year, certainly. So uh, a lot of people in California, myself included, are going elsewhere to look for snow. And uh, one of those locations is Big Sky in Montana. Uh, I've been to Big Sky a few times myself in the past. Uh, there's actually a story uh, that maybe I'll share one day with regards to getting there and uh, why I don't fly on one particular airline anymore. Uh, but that's for another time. Uh, today we are going to be taking uh, this Delta service from Los Angeles, uh, which is uh, completely full with snowboarders, and taking all of those snowboarders up to the mountains in Montana. Uh, one last thing I should add, this flight normally, uh, at least in the quarter seasons, is um, only serviced by a SkyWest Embraer, Embraer um, jet. However, uh, given the lack of snow in Northern California and uh, demand to find some snow, we are taking a bigger jet to carry more people. So we're going to be in this Airbus A320neo today. So right, let's get inside and start setting up. So welcome on board. Uh, we are uh, on November 320 Delta Zulu today, which is a brand new A320neo from for Delta, uh, fresh from the factory. Uh, I will say also I am using the uh, mini cockpit SCU, which just arrived. Uh, I'll talk more about, uh, about that. I will talk more about that in a different video, I think. Uh, but just to say, you might see things change on the uh, FCU without uh, you know me looking at it and that's purely because I'm using the desktop mounted FCU I have right next to uh, such as the speed here if I twist the speed there you can see it changing anyway let's get the aircraft set up and get out of here uh, so we're on the ground here LA our IRS's are off so let's get those started actually I wonder if I can do that from here uh, I've also got my um, uh, stream deck configured for the Airbus Anyway, we can get IRS-1 on, the battery light comes on, we wait for it to go out. Okay, we'll do two, oop, do two and three. Moving down, uh, our flight control systems are set as needed. Our evac is set to just captain right now, we'll change that before departure. Ground protection warning system is set as needed. We will do a cockpit voice recorder test. I'm sure there's meant to be a chime with this, but anyway. Hold that for five seconds, let go. Our oxygen is as needed. Uh, we don't need to do anything with our cool panel right now, and wipers are set off uh, on both sides. Okay, top to bottom on the center, we can start our APU test. Um, uh, we'll go back to here, get our ETAM panel up so that we can see what's happening and let's do an APU test good, engine 1 test passed, engine 2 test passed as well we'll also do a cargo test because we are carrying a lot of snowboards today they may have lithium-ion batteries in their uh, accessories all those GoPro cameras and such. Okay, uh, that looks good to me. Our fire um, test is complete. With that, we can go ahead and get our APU on. And so I can actually do this from my Stream Deck control if I get the right page. Uh, is it engine? No, not engines. Okay, yeah, there we go. APU gen. APU master. Okay, let's see. So if I hit AP Master, yep, that switches on. And let's hit the start button. 
There we go. AP is starting up. And as you can see, that's confirmed on the screen. The flap is opening, so nothing will happen until the flap's open. Yep, flap is now open. We can see N rotation. AP is coming up. All right, all's looking good. Let's go and get ourselves a flight plan. So we go down to our McDo's. Um, just check we've got the current database, so it just updated to 2313, and it's good until the 24th of January. So we'll get onto the initialization page, and then on our first officer's side, we're actually going to go to ACARS and uh, get our flight plan from our company. Here it comes, so we can see Los Angeles to Bozeman. Uh, we're Delta 3669, uh, cost index is 2 niner, and uh, we are f cruising at a flight level 350, all of that checks. Okay, we've got our data link, we should have our winds as well. So if we go to our wind data and do a wind request, there we go, we have our winds as well. And uh, it's even inserted all of our zero fuel weight for us uh, from our flight plan, uh, which we can actually load up here. Right, let's go up one level. Should have, there we go, Los Angeles to Bozeman. Get to the next page where we have our zero fuel weight. There we are, yeah, 140.5, which is what we saw. In our FMC on 0.5. Okay, we're carrying 186 passengers today. That's uh, very full. Okay, APU seems to be alive. So let's uh, go ahead and get our APU lead on. There we go. Turns on. Now our cabin's heating up. Temperatures here in LA are pretty warm. Uh, we'll get the full weather in a sec. But uh, the temperatures in Montana are definitely a lot colder, like uh, negative one, I think, is Celsius right now. So cool approach. Okay, we've got our clearance already as well from ATC via ACARS. Uh, so we can actually just stick our transponder code straight in. And uh, that is found usually under beacon or squawk uh, 7330. 7330. Okay, that's set. <clears throat> now we'll continue setting up the aircraft. So we have our flight plan in. If we go back to page one, uh, we will set our departure. Uh, we've been given two four left from ATC as our departure, and we are on the Orca five. And it's the Las Vegas transition. And into Bozeman, currently uh, they're saying ILS 1-2, there's no star. Uh, we will go via, uh, currently it's Visa then uh, Bozeman, uh, Bravo Zulu November. So we'll add that and that is good. We'll probably have to do some vectoring, this is ATC on in uh, Salt Lake City Center, I think is what covers Bozeman, but uh, currently they're not online. We'll see if they come online as we proceed. Okay, uh, we can get our departure ADIS while we're here. Uh, so we should have the ADIS information. So there we go, uh, information uniform. Uh, we currently have some clouds, but nothing serious. View at 9,000, scattered at 14,000, broken at flight level 180 and overcast at flight level 250. Temperature 17, so yeah, quite warm. Altimeter is 30, 1, 2, so we'll just set that. 30, 1, 2, set. set. Okay, departing run. Runway is 24 left and 25 right. We've already been given 24 left, and uh, everything else is as expected. Return, turn. And we hear our cabin crew in the back. 
Okay. Uh, performance will be next. Also be sure that the aisle is clear and sit down so that way other passengers can get by you. If you are seated in an emergency exit row, please review the exit seating responsibilities in the safety car. This we should be able to get it from our company, so we'll do a takeoff data request. If the company a moment to send the takeoff data. Now's the time to get out any last minute text messages if you need to, but we ask that once you depart from the gate, put away any laptops or tablets. Okay, we've got our takeoff data. We're going to do a flex takeoff. We've got lots of runway, uh, so flexing today will be uh, 74 Celsius and flaps one and trim up 0 0.4. So we'll add that. Okay, so our V1 is 152, our rotation is 152, and our V2 is 154. Transition altitude is one, uh, 18. Thousand feet which checks flaps one and trim up 0 0.4 flexing to 74 Celsius all looks good and with that uh, we're still aligning we've got one minute left but as you can see our FCU is starting to dash out as I like to call it as uh, all of our systems come online we should see a heading and um, speed which is already set into managed mode uh, the heading should go into manage mode as well in a second once our irises are fully aligned. Charlie Alpha 105, my check. Charlie Alpha 105, Los Angeles, Terra 555. Okay, all's looking good here. Um, so we should bring up our departure charts and brief that. We are Los Angeles. So we'll get the uh, 29 or 10.9, depending which one it is. Let's think of the 10.9 here. Up, oh, which will give us our taxiing. Now, I think taxiing's gonna be simple. We'll come off down to nine, right on echo, and then to the end, it's six, and that'll be us ready for departure. We'll get up the Orca 5. Okay, so with the Orca 5, it looks like we'll fly a runway heading, which is why we have Vectors, so 250 to uh, Dalray. So that Dalray's got the runway 24 left, and there we need to be under 3,000 feet, and then we'll continue on that heading of 251 until we get Vectors, um, probably either to Kegs or Clipper, I'm gonna guess. Or maybe cop or orca. We'll see. Uh, that'll, that'll tell us anyway. And um, the initial clearance is two three zero, as published on the chart. However, did we get a different clearance from our uh, tower controller? Uh, yeah, maintain five thousand. So we're going to set five thousand and push. Perfect. All right, uh, we have our RSS is aligned. Let's clear these primary warnings. We should be fully fueled now. Yep, looks like we're fueled up, which is good news. So we'll go to our overhead panel, get our fuel pumps on, and we'll get our seatbelt signs on now. Um, our emergency light. And we'll check with our ground handling system. See how we're doing. Like, still loading passengers. Okay, well... As is the case in real life, this is where pilots will just sit and uh, look at their phones, <laughs> look at Facebook, uh, as we're pretty much ready to go. Uh, we'll return in a second when all the passengers are loaded. Uh, 
Okay, as you heard, all of our passengers are on board, so uh, we're going to start planning our pushback, and for that we use our ground handling. Uh, so let's plan pushback, here we go, get a nice overhead view, oh, that United just disappeared. Oh, they're back again, there we go. Uh, we need to be careful of them, because I think I heard them getting ready for push. So, uh, we will give a quick look. Hopefully we don't push into each other. I cleared to Oakland International Airport via the... I hate, uh, the one thing I hate about a better pushback is some of the snapping logic. I think if I get close... No, there we go. I have to go off center just to get it to go there. Alright, we're gonna... Ground to cockpit. Plan acknowledged. Call me through the menu when you are ready. We'll get them connected. And then while we do that, let's turn off our external power. Uh, we can clear our ground. There's our doors. Our doors aren't quite closed. They will be in a moment. So they're just finishing up. 20 seconds. As soon as that's done. Oh look, we got a little droid. A droid pushback today. Four, three, two, one, and everyone should be on board. Go. Thank you very much. Can you close that door for me? Okay, all doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. Thought it was going to take the uh, jet bridge away, but maybe I have to do that myself. Okay, all doors are closed. We can see green lights across the board, which means they're armed. We can kill Sam. There goes the jet bridge. Alright, uh, we want our beacon on now. Seatbelt sign's already on. From the flight deck, this is your first officer speaking. Welcome on board our flight. We'll be departing soon and then we're aiming to get rid of our flight. ground Thanks service. So, there goes the ground power. Chocks. There's our ADIS, which we can get rid of. Tow connected and bypass pin inserted. Release parking brake. Okay, before we do, uh, it's our discretion. We're going to have to keep an eye out. So, all looks clear right now. Get our transponder on to TA. TA only for now. Uh, we want our Captain Purser on. Seatbelt signs are on. No flanking signs are on. Emergency lights are set. Uh, at United seems to be stuck there, so we will get pushing back. Here we go. We can break off. Starting push back. And you may start engines. There we go, away from the gate. Really hope they don't start pushing back, or at least they take the extra care to look like we did. Alright, let's start her up. We will go engine mode selector, start. There we are. Yeah, the pack's shutting down. Looking for uh, the pressure in our fleet system, which is there. We have enough to start. So we will start engine one. There are several emergency exits on this aircraft. To familiarize yourself with the emergency exits on this aircraft, please refer to the safety card in the CN2 rotation. 
There goes the ignition, fuel should start to flow. There's the fuel. Available, looks like a good start. Uh, exhaust gas is all within the green range. Normal. That's going to pull us forward and down just to get us out of the way of this United in case they want to push. Okay, and as we get full forward, we'll start engine two. Yeah, I see N2 rotation. Mission come on at around that 22. Look at these wonderful engines. I say wonderful, unfortunately the uh, geared turbo fans from Pratt & Whitney are having some issues at the moment. Hopefully Pratt & Whitney can get them sold. Uh, obviously a lot of A320s, uh, 20s, 21s and even the uh, A220s uh, rely on these engines. Shame they're having issues with their maintenance schedule right now. Okay, so we've got a good start on number two. It's now available. So with that, we'll set our engine mode selector back to normal. Operation complete. We'll AP, set parking brake. And we'll set the parking brake as requested. Disconnecting tow. Stand by. Thank you very much, ground crew. Okay, uh, after start, we want auto brake set to max. And uh, we want to select flaps 1. Uh, ground spoilers on. Disconnect our ground, thank you. We'll turn on our weather radar and our um, predictive weather system. Okay, uh, we want to set our trim uh, to up 0.4. There we go. And we'll do a quick flight control check while we're here. So. Left. Oh, it's disconnected. I'm bypass pin has been removed. Hand signal right. on the right. Check. We'll see you next time and have a safe flight. Pull up, check, and centered, and pull down, checked, and centered. Okay, we'll do rudder, push down on that button. Pull right, check, centered, and pull left, check, centered. Okay, flight control. Now look, we've got a United 787 rolling by. And the weather off to. Okay, flight control checks are complete. Seatbelt signs are on. If you is off. Transponders TAA with the correct uh, transponder code of uh, seven uh, three three zero. So I'm just cross-checking our clearance. Yep, seven three three zero. Okay, we're ready to Hello, contact. Are you fully ready? Okay. So turn up and wait. Form the cabin, we're about to go. Los Angeles ground, good afternoon, Delta 3669, just coming off the Terminal 2 ramp, holding short Delta on Delta 9, information x-ray on board, requesting taxi. Delta 3669, Los Angeles Tower, Captain Noon, information x-ray is cleared, runway 2 for left, taxi via Delta 9 or Echo. 2 for left via Delta 9 or Echo, Delta uh, 3669. Okay, we've got taxi clearance, we can turn our taxi light on and get rolling. 
and uh, now our parking brake is off we can also do our takeoff config uh, test okay we've got a low oil temp so delay takeoff oh yeah we can see on engine two uh, it's currently below 50 uh, that will probably come up by the time we get to the runway Check to the left and the right, uh, all looks clear on both sides. The taxiway is clear on the left, taxiway is clear on the right, you can see that United Heavy. Bye United, have a safe flight. on the yellow line. Should look like it's running right down your right fine for the pilot uh, captain as well. Just double check on our engine. And yeah, oil temperature is now 60 Celsius. So we're in the green, we are safe. Tower uh, Southwest 3146 for taxi with information X ray. Now, 006 Heavy, enjoy flight, Happy New Year. Contact Delhi Southern 135.55. 135.55, uh, thank you. You know, there's a Now we're picking up speed. Uh, Southwest 3146, ready for taxi. 3146, information X ray is current, runway 2 for the left, and taxi be at opening high delta. Alright, taxi 24 left behind delta on echo, uh, and we have X ray on board, Southwest 3146. And the altimeter has changed, 3009 now on X ray, so we just update that. Delta 3669, holding short 24 left at Echo 6, we're ready to go. Uh, 3669, runway 24 left, line up and wait. 24 left, line up and wait, Delta 3669. Okay, let's get our landing lights on, wing light on, strobe light on. As we get out onto the runway. Okay, the approach looks clear. So get our transponder onto TARA now. I love that howl. It's a shame these engines don't really work well. Okay, we should, yep, runway is clear. 
the aircraft taxiing down behind us. We should have a southwest. It's united. Nicely centered here. Sir, wings 18 6 up for a taxi to 2 4 left. Three wings 186 for a wing 25 right, thanks for your bravo. There's the southwest and United lining up. Red taxi via Bravo, sir, wings uh, 18 6. Okay. Uh, 3669, Delray, wait for Delray, wait for Delray, runway 24 left, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, uh, runway 24 left, RNAV, Delray, Delta, 3669. Okay, uh, and... 3146, runway 24 left, line up away. Down pressure on our lift stick. Let's get out of the front of the front of the front of the front Okay, you ready? Man flex, SRS, runway, waterfront. SB is alive. Five point five five down to thirty six nine sixty nine. See you. Four eleven Tango, give way to spare wings off. Uh, okay, we're okay, just going to do acceleration speed now. So put the nose down. Wait for some increase in speed indicated, which we're seeing, and we'll go to thrust line. Auto thrust. Start cleaning up the aircraft now. Okay, I'm going to stick autopilot one on as we now approach. Okay, we're going to stick autopilot one on as we now approach. Okay, we're going to stick autopilot one on as we now approach. Okay, we're going to stick autopilot one on as we Thirty-six sixty-nine. Let's say we're in contact. Climb maintain flight level three five zero. Climb maintain flight level three five zero. Delta six. Uh, Thirty-six sixty-nine. Thirty-six sixty-nine. Turn left heading one eight zero. Left one eight zero. Delta thirty-six sixty-nine. LA Center, Southwest thirty-one forty-two. I tell you what, uh, it is so nice not using the map <laughs> to do this. Thirty-one Southwest thirty-one forty-six. LA Center, radar contact. Climb maintain. So as we are currently not on our nav, or the equipment of our nav, we're not using navigation. Uh, we won't be able to go into the managed climb yet, so we'll be open climb until they give us directive. Getting our lights off. You can't see that because I'm using my stream deck, but we just switched out the lights. Don't need. 
there as we climb out of the LA airport area, I expect us to get another left turn in a short while and then probably direct to Clip Airport. Roger. Roger. Shooting up to 10,000 feet, already at 9,000 as well. You're kind of split between them, I just wanted to make it easier for you. Allegiant 6, runway 26, right, taxi via Golf Charlie. 26, right by Golf Charlie for Allegiant 6, thanks. 1762, runway 26, left clear left in the wind call. Runway 26, left clear to land. 1762. And a 336, descend via Comex 2 arrival. The Eagle our correction to San Diego, altimeters 3011. Left 090, Delta 3669. Delta 180 knots, 180 knots, 12 miles, final for FedEx 1886. 180 knots, 12 miles, FedEx 1886. There's 10,000 feet, we can get our landing lights off. It's busy in LA. I guess there's no Vegas on and there's a lot of aircraft in Vegas. Got his work cut out. off the runway two six left. Cross nine ninety five cross runway two six right at Alpha six short of Bravo. That's uh, Alpha two six cut at Alpha six short of Bravo nine ninety five. Nicely avoiding these clouds there as we depart. Nine sixty one, welcome to Ontario. Uh, you go into the UPS ramp all the way on the southeast side, or where you want to park. Oh, and all of our fun, we forgot to start our clock. That was a mistake. That's a towel. Just telling the cabin crew there. Okay, he's busy. Uh, cabin crew can start their service. Clear direct Las Vegas for uh, Delta 3669. Okay, we got straight to Las Vegas, so we'll get that in and insert. We should go into nav, which we should do, and we can now climb in manage mode. So we've got climb and nav. And we're about to pass transition altitude. Go. So let's go into standard pressure. You can just like the sound of your voice, man. Must be Southwest 1744, Lake Myers Space Radar Service Terminator. Okay, we've got visible moisture ahead, but the temperature outside is um, a low 10 Celsius, so we might have to turn engine ice on.
update our navigation display. Okay, visible moisture, engine eyes on. Once we get out of this cloud and feel the uh, turbulence, we will get the seatbelt signs off and let people move around. Shaking. But here's the breakout coming. There's the breakout. Okay. Really nice one come off. I am into our seatbelt sign. On uh, LA Center and radio is uh, really bad. I think it's Delta 2155. Your radar contact, climb on the tick, flight level 290. Flight level 290. Mac Alt Star. Delta four one five eight request you push back at Delta. Report are you at Delta four 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 one five eight? And Alt Cruise. Las Vegas, Delta four one five eight. Delta forty one fifty eight, push back on the ramp at your own description. So, aircraft should stabilize here at three five zero and we should accelerate a little bit. There we go. And we can do a fuel check. So we got 12.9 tons in, on board, and we plan to have about 12 and a half. So we've got a little more fuel than anticipated. Never a bad thing. Everything's looking good. We can inform the cabin. Things are going well. And so we're in the cruise. We're on our way to Bozeman. Uh, there's really not much uh, to talk about now. Uh, the next uh, hour or so will be in cruise as we fly over California and then Las Vegas and Utah and then up into Montana. Um, let's see what our progress looks like. So it's currently 21.52 UTC and we're expected into Bozeman at uh, 23.46. So we've got about two hours of runtime. So not much really to, to say at this point. We're in cruise. We'll pull our tables out as uh, the captain and the first officer will get some lunch. And uh, yeah, I'll check in with you later in the flight. Probably we'll check in again around the handoff point between uh, Alley Center and Saltwater Center. See you in a bit.
Okay, before we set down, uh, we'll just check our fuel, 6,400 pounds on board, which is fine, estimating 5,700 on arrival, uh, more than enough to get to Billings, which is our alternate. We have our weather and information golf on board. We have our altitude set to 8,000 feet. Let's start our way down. Okay, we're gonna push and descent. Should start with a relatively light descent for about 1,000 feet uh, per minute. So it's getting a little bit more aggressive. Big skies should be just over there. I think I can see it just beneath that cloud. So we'll be snowboarding later. Yep, you can just see the runs there off, uh, I think it's Lone Peak, the name of the big mountain at Big Sky. And it looks like they have some snow, so that's better news for all the California skiers and snowboarders on board. Okay, we're getting to full descent, we'll get our seatbelts back on. Beautiful sunset. Okay, we've gone flaps one. After failure, we want to drop to 6,800 feet. Select landing flap free and we'll select flap two. Fly slopes alive. Fly slope star. Even flap three didn't uh, select, but now we have one. Okay, landing memo, landing memo green, no blue, landing checklist complete. My aircraft.
p.m. and it's currently about 39 degrees Fahrenheit. You can now use your mobile devices. Please remain seated until the aircraft has come to a complete stop and the seatbelt sign is turned off. Remember to use caution when opening the overhead bin as items may have shifted during the flight. We thank you for flying with us. We'll stop the timer. Can our APU on? Clean up the aircraft. No taxi lines here apparently. They will be washed away. Landing was minus 38 feet per minute. I will take that. Okay, we're just waiting for two minutes on the clock and then we can put our flaps on. Postman's added more gates since I was last here. Well, Delta used to park around here, so we'll take this gate. Alpha 1. Flaps up. Okay, here we are at the gate. APU's on. Let's kill engine one and two. Is that a little less glary? Okay, we can kill our beacon. Let's see if the uh, jetway works here. It does. Nice. If it's the right one. Yep. 
Everything's going to chip away. We have ground power yet. And we can kill our seat that sign. Get our cabin light back on. Unlock this door. Open up the door so everyone can tell us how amazing our landing was. Okay, we can turn off our transponder and our weather radar. And we turn off our irises. Okay everyone, well that's it, welcome to Bozeman. It was a nice flight up here from Los Angeles. Everyone on board is uh, no doubt going to get off and grab their skiing equipment and head off to Big Sky Resort, which is where the crew are also going to go for some well-earned snowboarding. Uh, this aircraft is going to continue on to Seattle next, uh, but with a different crew. Thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, please like and subscribe if you like what you see, and uh, we'll be back soon for the next one.